Hello and welcome to our podcast. I'm Risa. And I am Ariana. And we are the Curlmeister Sisters. Just as a reminder, this is not a rated G podcast. We are rated T for teen for mild language and, well, not really mild language, to be honest. Um, really, so, like, aggressively bad language. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> just going to put that out there. And some, you know, references to alcohol, mostly. Like, that's mostly it. If you are looking for language and adult content, yes, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> if you are looking for a family friendly podcast, um, please head over to her interactive's own podcast found on YouTube or iTunes called Unlocked. Unlocked with yeah, I got it right this time. You did get it right this time. <laughs> so, what are we talking about today, Ariana? Well, today we have a special topic. A special uh, topic. Oh. Favorite locations, or as you said in the notes, fave locations. <laughs> Just fave. I like, fave. I, okay, you know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with. You like to abreve. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Sister, right. I'm a millennial. It's what I have to do. It's what you do. It's the language um. I speak. <laughs> Um, okay, so the locations in Nancy Drew honestly tend to be pretty good. There are some that it's like, really, really, like, okay, we're not going to pretend that um, the locations for um, Secrets Can Kill are magnificent. Um, <sighs> although, in the remastered, um, Aunt Eleanor, no. Ele- yeah, Eleanor. <laughs> Eleanor? Really? Yeah. Anyway, her house is kind of wonderful. But yeah, so there, there Except are, for the know. cage. <laughs> like, what does she need a cage for? Okay. Topic for <laughs> another time. <laughs> Topic for another time. Just putting it out there. One of favorite things ever. It's like this beautiful house on some... Uh-oh. <laughs> Where does the cage go? Where does it go? <laughs> Okay, but yes. It doubles as her go-go cage that she does her dancing in every Saturday night. <laughs> it's just, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Get the so, from there. <laughs> there are some mediocre locations, definitely, such as that. But most of them are pretty amazing, which is why it was very, very hard for us to choose just five. So yeah. we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... We chose five, yeah. but then we have yeah, we some chose five. Honorable, mentions, our honorable mentions, which we're going to start with. Um, yeah. Our first honorable mention, one that we definitely, definitely decided on. I was a little shook up between this one and another, but um, mm-hmm. Creature of Kapu Cave. I was a little deciding if it was that or if it was Ransom mm-hmm. of the Seven Ships, but we decided on Creature of Kapu Cave just because yep. it also includes a lot of really nice like jungle stuff with all the buggy sounds and the rushing mm. waters and just a lot of really you, pretty you get stuff. to go out into the ocean and it's beautiful and it's clear and it's just I don't know yeah you get it's to go beautiful beach combing. yeah oh, it's, it's great and you get to go into a volcano man I know that's awesome that's why that reaches <laughs> one of our honorable mentions definitely and another one which I feel like a lot of people might disagree with us about, but mm-hmm. Secret of the Scarlet Hand, uh, as I put in my notes, I'm always a slut for museums. And as I pointed out, uh, uh, that exhibit, the, the exhibit um, in which they display the monolith oh, is it's so crazy cool. Like, okay, the, um, the uh, interactive exhibit where you go down into things, that's terrifying. <laughs> it's pretty, but it's terrifying. I know for a fact that I would have freaked out as a kid. Mostly but, because um, it's, you know, an enclosed space. I would have freaked yeah. out, um, mm-hmm. to be honest. Exactly. Um, but yeah, the, just that, whole, they got all the beautiful, like, it, the way it's set up is perfect. It's just yeah. perfect. I would definitely go to that museum all the time. Plus, you know, they got the Mayan artifacts, so I'm down. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's gorgeous. I love it. And all of the stuff in behind the scenes is also stuff I love as well. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> not going to lie, laboratories. Oof. Mm-hmm. Okay. But those are our honorable mentions out of the way. They did not quite make the top five. Ugh. So where do you want to start, sister? Um, well, we can start with what we did um, our last podcast on, which was Legend of the Crystal Skull. Yep. So Legend of the Crystal Skull, the top billing points for us location-wise, just <laughs> New Orleans, 
just in general, let's just start with that, which is just an amazing location to begin with. And I feel like they got, they really encapsulated a lot of that mm -hmm. with at least the section like where we are with Bess when we look out the window and everything and we see the beautiful, it's just that street view. It's that great view of the French Quarter. It's just, mm. Mm. how did and, they and, get and, a hotel? I mean, rich dad, that's how. Yeah, rich dad. That's <laughs> and, and, he, and he's got friends. So, And you know what? We didn't ever talk about this, but his rich friends that he, you know, let him, he's probably like defended these people. I mean, and so they're true. nasty criminals. I'm just saying. I mean, what did Franklin Rose do to, to need a favor from yeah. Carson Drew to let his completely, you know, untrained daughter? <laughs> That's that's time, yeah. Um, also, yeah, graveyard as we mentioned in our last podcast, graveyard. As we always say, we love graveyards. They're just mm, mm. wonderful. Seriously, um, the rain. It, as I, um, yeah, it's 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 just it's just perfectly. It's it's perfectly set. The whole a whole scene, all the scenery, all of the stuff that you can do, the curio shop, the um, various plants, and 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 mm, I love it all. It's love just it so, all. and and I think what really adds to it, like I've said before, is just the sound effects that they use mm -hmm. and the music. It all really enhances the location and Absolutely. makes it somewhere I want to go. Like. Even the the little bog area we go to, where the <laughs> alligator is, Bernie. Bernie! And, like, literally, even that area, it just feels so like you're there, I feel. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the vodka, but... <sighs> <laughs> no, no, it's, it's good. It's very good. As you put it in there, creepy as fuck, A+. Plus. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. <sighs> You know, can't argue with that, honestly. Especially since it's just like the building itself is so, mm -hmm. it's so like, was probably gorgeous in its prime and is now yeah. in this almost dilapidated state. But not quite like falling apart. But it's it so it's still definitely livable, but it's not the like glorious thing that it clearly once was. And, and so it that's brings about this a beautiful. Ghost. It brings about this. Say, yeah. I was going to say it's a beautiful haunting sort yes. of image. Because it's, it's like... It's a dead house. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Because it hasn't been kept in great shape and everything. Yeah. So it's just this very... It's the ghost of a different era. Yeah. Where the house like is there. We're all... Henry fixed it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but ghost of a different era. Dilapidated buildings... That Holy. takes us to, that's a nice segue into our next locale that we think. Because it's also Louisiana, isn't it? No, it's not. I think it's George, George. No, that's just because we get sent there by Savannah. It's not Louisiana, though. Okay. It goes to Thornton Hall. <laughs> I could swear that's not Louisiana. Their accents aren't right for Louisiana. No, but when are the accents ever right in... I mean, like, I like, guess. But it's a cotton plantation, not a sugar plantation. True. I, I am looking it up, just as we're... Uh, yep, Georgia. You're Georgia. correct. On Thank you. Georgia. Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's I mean, the accents are right, aren't right for Georgia either, but, no. you know, it's closer. But it's in the South, it's nonetheless. In the South. Yeah. But, but, yeah, that's... Uh, mostly, it, it's... While hmm. the locale is really limited and... Um, gray it's pretty much the atmosphere that is i just realized that almost all of the ones on this list are at nighttime we apparently really like things at nighttime <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much honestly it's just the grounds for thornton hall i think mm. again we get another graveyard yeah. so just putting that out there more graveyards with puzzles we're just broken graveyard people <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so silly that sounds weird but um, we're just, downstairs just, people. <laughs> we're downstairs people. Um, but no, yeah, the the the, the dilapidated buildings Ugh. are just great because it, it. Okay, I'm gonna 
get weird with it. The uh, buildings that are clear, they were this like status symbol for the Thornton family. They were, they were what, you know, it, displayed their prominence it was they're beautiful and and the the family is wonderful and amazing and then these buildings have fallen into disrepair as the family has fallen into you know just this toxicity that yeah. knows no bounds seriously including you know fucking clara getting yeah harper sent away but you know whatever yeah. <laughs> pretty much it's just it's such a beautiful area, and again, it's like the lightning bugs and just yeah. the fog and the mist, and mm-hmm. being able to go into crypts because apparently we are weirdos who like yeah. to go into crypts. Um, that this the, really the, is <laughs> damning for us as people. Really I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever, we're the Adams family. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It's just so beautiful, and for this place especially, I know they try and they go for the whole, um, it's just carbon monoxide poisoning thing, but but, mm -mm. the thing is, is the hauntings seem so, like, this is the only game, really, that I've played for Nancy Drew, where the jump scares actually, like, because they're not, like, full jump scares, you know, a jump scare is when, when it's leading up to it, and then it happens, these are just, you know, you turn a corner and you see something. And it just literally just freaks you out. And Armadillo runs at you. Sorry, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, suddenly there's Charlotte at the end of the hall singing that creepy song. Oof. Yeah. And, and it all just... Uh, oh. Ghost of Thornton Hall is so creepy. It's, it's, so, it's so sad and creepy. Oh, it really and is. Wonderful. It's really, really sad. That's the thing, is it's just really sad. It doesn't yeah. she like die on my birthday? <laughs> I thought she died on Halloween. No, she her her birthday party's on like the twenty seventh. Well, it might be. It sounds like something that we would go, oh my god. <laughs> um yeah, that always is so depressing. She died on her birthday. Uh or at her birthday party. Yeah, her twenty first birthday party. Oh, it's twenty first. Okay, yeah, I thought it was so. Twenty first. It's just like, ugh, because that's such a that's a big Southern age for everything. No, you're right. Southern. October thirtieth, nineteen eighty nine. Oh, was just, actually, then I was a day off. Yeah, but it's it's you. like something in there is dated the twenty seventh. I just can't remember what it is. Maybe what her actual birthday is. I, I think it's like a um, or something about the will. It's that the we will find. or something is dated that day. Um. But yes, it's just... Yeah. I know it's a really depressing one, but it's still just gorgeous it's location. One of those things. Yeah, it's it's great. It's horribly depressing, and everybody nobody comes out a winner in this game. <laughs> so let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to a brighter and sunnier future. Yeah. A brighter we- and... S- just the brightest and sunniest of all of the games. Oh, okay. So we're talking about Shadow <laughs> Ranch. <laughs> yes. Um, on the complete other end of... Well, it's not completely the other end of the spectrum. But, well, kind Atmosphere of. Atmosphere-wise, it is. I it's feel. It's brighter. It's drier. Because yeah. we're not, like, all... In the mist and fog. Mm-hmm. However, there is still dilapidated. We get to go to a ghost town. I we love get and ghost town. We get to stand outside of the graveyard and the ghost we do. We get to see another graveyard. <laughs> I think there's. Those are the only ones on the. Okay, those are the it's only okay, graveyards on yes. the list. Graveyards. Okay, I was gonna say we are messed up, <laughs> sister. No, because we didn't put ghost dogs and moon like on here. It was yeah. almost an honorable mention though, because of the graveyard. <laughs> because of the graveyard slash. Um... Oh, no. <laughs> What's wrong with uh, us? A lot of things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but really, Seared of Shadow Ranch is just... What I love about that one is it really, really just draws you in. Totally. It, it put Like, when I play that game, I start sweating. I swear. It's like I can feel the heat. Um, there are very few games that do that to me. And I mean, like, Icicle Creek will make me... The, the cold level factor of it 
can get to me, but not nearly as much as Shadow Ranch does, because I've been in that heat. Yeah. <laughs> I think some of some of our favorites on here are because they're very similar to just you know things that we can because you know we live in San Diego or we lived. Yeah, I live. You don't anymore. I don't. <laughs> um, in San Diego, which is a crazy multi biome. Um. <laughs> yes, it is one of the most biologically diverse areas in um, outside of the rainforest. Meaning that um, <laughs> San Diego itself has so many different biomes that it's ridiculous and. You need Doesn't to happen. look at a yeah. specific, you, you literally, when you look at a weather forecast for San Diego, you have to look at it by zip code because it will change drastically. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, like, oh, it it's has, snowing in Julian, but. Um, yeah, San Diego uh, County itself is huge. It's like yeah. the entire south southwest corner of the United States. Like, <laughs> it reaches <laughs> into the desert and then it goes all the way up to, you know, pretty north of, of San Diego proper. So what you end up getting is you have coast, you have mountains, you have desert. So this desert, we just, it's so much like home to us, I feel. Yeah. Just from having friends who lived up out in the boonies that we'd go Mm. and we'd we'd spend (laughs) weekends there with them. You know, so hot that it's like, I can walk the mile to get to McDonald's for sweet tea. We can get to McDonald's for 49 cent drinks. (laughs) Like, that was, it's like, it's 105 degrees, but we're going to walk to McDonald's anyway. While pushing a large baby in a... In a stroller. stroller. Yeah. So that's just, it really, it really puts you there. And there are some of the towns out in the, um, past the mountains and stuff that we used to drive to when we were kids. Um, with my dad, like, on the Stagecoach Highway and stuff. Um... We drive out there, and there are these kind of like podunk little towns mm-hmm. that are just so much. It just that's what this this game just we've puts me back to there. The Mar- we've been to the shops of the various Mary Yazis out there. Exactly, we it's- really have. <laughs> we really, really have, and they're run by actual native people too. So yeah. that's it's- another that's another part about why I love love the location and everything yeah. is because we do get we're in that kind of territory in the game. Yeah. That we get the petroglyphs, which just, yeah. I want so bad to actually go <laughs> see petroglyphs in real life. That's yes. just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's just, it's it's a perfect atmosphere for this game. You, you really get, you know, you, you get Bob and you're, you're you know, <laughs> awful and you're... <laughs> I don't know. It's good. It's very good. And even the the the, the garden of the um, ranch. Yeah, exactly. It, it's it's yeah. It's one of those. You know, it's so hot here. How can you fucking have a garden? How does this survive? Sort of things that you know. We know. <laughs> so I feel like this one's probably. I mean, tomatoes to thrive them. really well. They do. You should it's crazy. know. <laughs> Ariana had a really nice tomato bush for a while until raccoons started eating the tomatoes. Just like my jalapenos. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just like the jalapenos. (laughs) They liked those a lot. They loved those. (laughs) Not good for them, but they sure did like them. (sighs) But yeah, that's that's why Secret of Shadow Ranch is so up there for us. Because it's just... The canyons, the caves, the... Yeah. Oh. Ghost town. Everything about it is just A+. It really is. It's just... (laughs) There's very little that can really get better than that game for us. Um, but that home feel, to me, is what really leads to our next game as well. That has that other aspect of home to us, which seems so weird because it's just the polar opposite yeah. of that last game. Um, Danger on Deception Island, when we're on the coast. And it's just that gorgeous, and it's foggy, and it feels like... It feels like we're the, you, yeah. You feel like you're walking, you're you're swimming through the air. Yes, exactly. And I've it's... been kayaking and <laughs> uh, in that same type of atmosphere. Just side story: uh, when I went to uh, fifth grade camp when I was you know younger, we went to Catalina Island, which is an island off the coast of California, um, off the coast of like LA kind of uh, area. And when we went, it was during May, and in Southern California, May is called May Gray. 
So <laughs> May and June are like the gloomiest time of year for Southern California. Um, so during May Gray, it meant that it was, you know, in the 50s and 60s the <laughs> entire trip. And we went kayaking. And then and, you get the pool from the water, which yes. makes it colder. So it was, uh, it was foggy and we're all out there in the, in the cove. And that's exactly, so we, I, I, I had that experience and two years later we played this game and I was just like, whoa, because <laughs> I was immediately thrown back to that feeling of kayaking in the cove. And <laughs> at least to Nancy Drew, you don't get your, or caught on kelp and get pulled in. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's that at least. <laughs> No, but you do get to, you know, go off track and die. That's pretty fun. That's true. You can, if you want, I guess. <laughs> go out without your life, life, life vest. Suddenly you're in a spinning, uh, you're in a spinning, spinning, spinning newspaper. newspaper. <laughs> you know. Um, so, yeah, we love the, the whole coastal feel. Yeah. Um, which comes with the kayaking, the lighthouse. Um, light, and oh, lighthouses are the other thing we have a huge yeah. thing about. We have, weird, we have lighthouses weird. and graveyards. <laughs> that's that's us, apparently. You want to make a mood board for the Krollmeister sisters? Just foggy graveyards and lighthouses. <laughs> and throw in some desert plants as well, right? <laughs> Pretty much. Um, um, just the secret beach we get to go on that just yes. feels so special. I, I love all of the, um, um, when you go, uh, clam hunting. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, but, yeah, that's Is just it really all, nice. It and, reminds me of, of Cabrillo. That's what it all <laughs> reminds me of. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cabrillo National Monument when you get down to the, um, the shore. Lighthouse area. Well, the, yeah, the, the lighthouse shore and then there's the, the shore. And this, yeah. Which, so it's exactly the same. I know. <laughs> a shore under a lighthouse. <laughs> Though it's generally a little sunnier, but much yeah. windier. <laughs> yeah. But then my one of my other favorite parts is like the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Yes, yeah, secret tunnel. <laughs> yes. Because it. it's like it's so awesome to me and then there's the Karens inside the tunnel mm. and it's all just so cool getting oh. to see everything connected getting to like poke your head in um poke that stores one shop and it's like the camping store heck? yeah um and then that brings me to actually um Jenna's yeah. uh, cafe yes. it's, it's not just that wonderful cozy coastal cafe feel yeah it's like um, you go in there and you know that someone's gonna know your name and they're gonna know your order they're gonna ask right. you, oh you're gonna want this or this today uh you want the usual huh <laughs> the kind of place i know i'd go and i'd get a blt every time yeah exactly I already know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they'd have like waffle fries maybe yeah right though <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Oof. I would obviously get the chowder. Yeah, I'm not a huge that, chowder fan, but I I like it. It's pretty good. It, yeah. it varies. But um, yeah, it's just and, and honestly, the entire feel I'm I'm because I I love I love um what is it the tea kettle? Yeah, is that what it's called? Co hot kettle cafe. Hot kettle. That's it. I was like cozy kettle, warm kettle. No, nope, hot. Gotta hot go kettle hot. Kettle cafe. Oh, it's hot just... kettle cafe. Everything about it is just. Mm, and the, then you've got the card puzzles on the walls, and that really kind of helps it. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, it's. Uh, I love everything it. about it is beautiful and atmospheric, <laughs> and, and just. It's so just, happy. It's it's one of those. It's my happy place where I go. Seriously, you know, it's I, just one of those really, really lovely games. Oh, and the museum too. Oh, Even yeah. though, like, Andy Jason, <laughs> despite Andy being there, Creeper McCreeper's in, um, <laughs> he's literally the worst, like, the oh, worst boy. character. <laughs> <laughs> he's the absolute worst. But Ugh. it's 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 a very, it's, it's great because it is that kind of little museum that's going to be on the coast. Yeah. That's going to, um... And the whale yeah. washing and all that, too. Yeah, I was going to say, I also thing. really love all of the whale bits because it's 
You know? I love I love whale watching. I love We've done our fair share of whale watching. Yeah. Actually I just did it for my birthday back in February. <laughs> so it's just like um, mm. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's good stuff. It's just and you're like, how are we gonna top this? Yeah, how right? do we cause it sounds like we've been gushing about this one. We've been real, <laughs> real gushing. But I feel like my top favorite, favorite location. Yeah. is actually um, in uh, Shadow at Water's Edge. Yeah, which I, I knew it was one of my favorites because, you know, I play that game constantly. But um, <laughs> <laughs> did not think it would be on Reese's favorites, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Honestly, what I love about this game is that, like, if you take away the mystery, like, completely take away the entire mystery of the game. Just take it away. <laughs> Just pretend yeah. it doesn't exist. Just I would go closing. there. I yeah. would love to visit this place and mm-hmm. interact with these people, even. Like, mm-hmm. I think if, if it wasn't for... The, like, to be honest, if I was in Nancy's place, I would completely forget the whole mystery anyway. I, <laughs> like, I would not bother. I would not bother. I'd just, you know, get to know Miwako and Herentaro. Probably not Takai, because she's boring. But we have no patience for listening to Kai talk. Oh, she's going to talk. We've got 10 minutes. So let's. <laughs> but, like, that's the kind of place. It's just so beautiful. The Ryokan is so peaceful. It is. And uh, it's gorgeous. And it's the kind of place that I would want to stay if I was going to go visit Japan. Oh, the cool little garden area. Oh. It's just. Uh, what I love is. is they allow you to see um, the different parts, like the different kinds of reasons that people go to Japan. Yeah. You see the, there's the Ryokan, which embodies the Japanese countryside, the, the quiet, the um, attention to detail with um, plants and everything like that. Um, it's, you know, obviously pretty big thing um but and then you go to like the train station or the pachinko parlor or the convention center or you know yumi's place and um yuki yuki oh my god yumi um yuki's place um i mean uh, right it's yuki right yeah it's yuki it's yuki um i'm suddenly um it might be you know it might be yumi i think dang it I think you were right. I was right originally, and then you wrote down Yuki in the notes, and now I'm confused. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I feel so stupid. It's okay. Yumi. Uh-huh. You were right. It was Yumi. Okay, it's Yumi. And then you just typoed, and so you made me doubt myself. Amazing. <laughs> it is Yumi. But anyway, but all of, all of that stuff, and you got, like, the noisy, bustling cities, and the it's 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 all loud and brightly colored and and you can you can t- even though you don't see any people around you can tell that it's like super crowded um which is obviously what people think of when they think of Japan they're like oh yeah it's just, you know crowded crazy streets the thing is is if i was going to visit japan it would not be any of the crowded areas because like yeah. thinking about visiting tokyo like sets off a panic attack in me oh yeah absolutely that's just terrifying to me Tokyo's just piled on top of itself it and really everything. Is. Yeah, it's really scary. I'd, I'd, I'd definitely not go to Tokyo. I could not handle that. No, it's just too much. But, <laughs> like, the countryside and all of that, it just, it's just so peaceful. And, you know, other than the dead girl that we're supposed to think <laughs> is existing, like, even with that happening, I would just probably be like, you know what? I'm just cool. going to take this. This is part of the atmosphere. I'm good with this. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, obviously, we don't have any issue with, like, dead people because, yeah. you know, our all of our other locations had graveyards. So <laughs> we have no problem with dead people. We have no problem with dead people. So really, that's just part of the deal for us. We're like, oh, yeah, yeah not only is it a, an awesome, peaceful Ryokan, but it's also haunted. So that's mm-hmm. neat. I mean, this That's is coming from cool. people who literally multiple times, like, very often in our teenage years would go to, quote, unquote, America's Most Haunted House. So, yeah, I don't know if it's still listed as America's Most Haunted it, House. I mean, that it actually last time like, I was looking at a thing that was, um, oh, things that you should go see in Old Town San Diego. And, yeah, it's, it's still listed as 
um, mm. the, most, the most haunted house in America. It, yeah. I, I've always at least qualified it with the most documented haunted yeah. house because, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Regis Philman saw a haunting there once. It's true. Yeah. Lots, lots of people have. Lots of famous people have, which is funny to me. I only ever know about Regis Philman because when I was in fourth grade, that's what they told me. They tell us lots of different things. When I was in when I was in fourth grade, they told us a whole different stories than what they told you. So yeah, well, they're different people anyway. <gasps> totally off track, sister. We were on Japan. I know, but hauntings, same thing. Yeah. But yes, <laughs> I think that's part of what I love. So the only thing that could have made the that better, the location better, was if we had more Japanese food other than just bento. Yes. I feel like if well, we had like, gone to a bento ramen boxes. place. Yeah. Or... I love me some, some bento boxes because they're cute and all that shit. But um, at the same time, you know, Japanese food is great and it's wasted on bento. Especially since the bento that she makes isn't like real bento. Real bento is really it's awesome. Weird. Looking. It's just real, real bento boxes are gorgeous. Like if yeah. you just Google bento boxes, like you'll get so many of these adorable and gorgeous arrangements. Um, like the ones Makoto makes. Yes, because... <laughs> yes. Yes, Sailor Moon. Um, <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to pretend like we're, we're talking about another anime or something. I just wanted to make sure everyone knows it's Sailor Moon and not some other anime because lots of anime no. characters are named Makoto. We're 100% talking about Makoto, Sailor Jupiter, so... Yep. She makes pretty bento boxes. She does indeed. It's true. And I love them. <laughs> so those are our favorite locations for yeah. Mansu Drew Games. You guys should tell us yours. Um, yeah. Because, you know, there are so many of these locations and we've yeah, touched and on seven of them. And so, obviously a majority of ours are based on our personal, you know, life experience. So... To hear your guys's would be cool. Yeah, so please just drop us a comment um, on YouTube or SoundCloud or, or wherever the hell you're listening Tumblr, to Tumblr, wherever. Please just let us know because we want to hear. So uh, we're going to sign off now. I'm still Risa. And I continue to be Ariana despite <laughs> any chances to change that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still the Crawlmeister Sisters, and we are asking you guys to stay sleuthy. Total sleuthy.